Hi, everybody, and welcome to Sit in It for a Bit with Arne and Carlos. And we are, as always, your hosts. Arne and Carlos. And today we are uh, hanging out in our garden. Um, we may go out for a little drive a little bit later to get ourselves some ice cream because oh, Arne. I want ice cream. Yeah, Arne's mm. sweet tooth. He's been craving ice creams the whole day, <laughs> as you always do. Every day. Every day. I can have. I, one day I had like two of them. Yeah. It's not like breakfast and lunch. Yeah. We go when we go to Oslo. We drive past uh, a gas station that has the best ice cream along the E6, which is and the it's highway. It's true. It's the best one. Yeah. So I tried everything. And you always get the strawberry sprinkles. Yeah. Any it's so sweet. Any particular reason why it's you? It's so good. It's your favorite. Yeah. yeah. I like the and almonds. And it cracks when you. Eat. Yeah. yeah well, I love it. I like the almond myself. But you don't eat it that much. Well, not anymore, but I used to. You say it's like glue. Yeah, it's that kind of <laughs> that kind of soft ice cream white. What do you call that? The paper you put on wallpaper glue? Yeah, it's like wallpaper glue. Yeah. yeah. So I prefer I like the sprinkles. The ice cream not so much. I'm you can more buy the sprinkle. Yeah. And lick the I just <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'm more of a sorbet kind of guy, yeah. actually. Anyway, we are back with uh, a rerun again. We're doing uh, reruns of our favorite episodes on Sundays, and we're doing reruns of our most viewed episodes on Wednesdays while we're on holiday, because we need a holiday as well. And today we're taking you back to 2017, was it? 16. 16, and this it was, was a big hit. Yeah, a big but hit. But it was only me. Yeah, it was a scary was, episode It was for so you. scary because we, I was making a hat. You were in the kitchen cooking and I was knitting a hat. I think it was four colors. Yeah, and I had a case of camera shyness. I didn't want to be in the video. Uh, no, that's not true. It's hard to knit on the same hat for two people. Yeah, no, so. I, I needed to cook because we needed lunch. Yeah. And I was hungry. And you were hungry, and Eric and PJ were hungry. It was hungry. scary because I wasn't. My English is a little bit off, and no, I don't remember not. if I screamed at you to get some words or if I made it. I don't remember. Well, what what I do recall is it was a really popular episode. So you must have done a great job. I think I have. I think I did a really good job. And you but know, but there's another like. Sometimes people say like when I do knit, like when I do knit and pro, people say I'm too fast. Mm -hmm. So I have to say, if you look for it, there's a video where Carlos is doing his Norwegian pearl, and that's very popular because you do it more slower, so it's easier to see what you're doing. Yeah, Arne, but, but, it's, but it's not as popular as your hat video. I know, I'm and so popular. Today it's all about you. <laughs> they really like me, they really like me. Yes, they do. <laughs> Yes, they do. Well, who and was that again? Sally Field yeah. with oh, the Oscar. You really like me. You really like me. Yeah. And they really okay. like you, Arne. You know what? I you think I get Oscar for this? Maybe. Or a silver plate? Maybe a new silver <laughs> play button. No, but the thing is, Arne, they really <laughs> do love you. And uh, one of the things that is very heartwarming is reading the comments, you know, how much they love you. And another cool thing is how they keep telling you that your English is getting better and better. Well, that's good to know. I don't feel like it's better. Your English is good. Well, but yours is really good too. Okay. You should thank everybody. Thank you. Thank you. You're so kind. Yeah. <laughs> and now you're going to watch a, a video from Arne all alone. Um, if he is a bit uh, nervous, uh, you know why. It was the very first time I was not on camera. You should be on camera all the time. Yeah, but sometimes... Because I... you're so good on camera. Oh, you're great on camera. <laughs> <laughs> you have like the cam camera face. You have like you have the aura. The aura. Yeah. yeah, you're so good. You sparkle when you're, you're, you're on sparkle. camera. You sparkle. You're so good. Especially when you do carpet thing. Oh, the screwdriver thing? Screwdriver thing. thing. You're yeah. so good. Actually, I have to say, because the, the floor on this deck, I screwed screws with my own bare hands and I know how the, the drill works now. Because, and you're so good at it. Well, I've gotten a little better since Christmas for sure. Yeah. It's a fabulous yeah. deck. And if you see all the ugly ones, those are the ones Arne did. Yeah. Because I tried to save some money and I bought some screws from a very cheap place and they were not fitted for. The head of the screws are really big and I told Arne, what's cheap becomes expensive. Yeah, because, because I have to take them out now and you have to put new ones in. Because, because my eyes hurt when I see those big yeah. screw heads. 
my eyes hurt. They're but so when big. it comes to doing color work, take a look at this video because I'm so good. Yes. <laughs> I'm so full of myself right now. No, I'm so good. You're so good, and your English is amazing. Oh Marla. yeah, I'm so good. Anyway, take your shoes off. Get yourself Do a you hot see drink. My ha halo. Yeah. yeah and your aura as well. My aura, everything. Anyway, kick back, relax, <laughs> enjoy. Get yourself a nice glass of wine or a cup of tea or whatever. And here we go. Arne is going to teach you how to make your own hat and how to prepare for winter. See you. Today I will show you how to make a hat with 96 stitches. The hat I'm going to make is inspired by this old jacket. This is an old jacket that me and my brother and sister used when we were kids and I think it was made in the 40s, so it's older. I guess we got it from my great or my grandmother's kids or something. It's very old. So the hat we're making is also inspired by this. It's made in four colors. And we used the, the Merino Extra Fine 85, which is very, very good for hats. The hats are always based on 96 stitches, because 96 is a good number when you do hats, especially with this yarn. And the reason why it's good is because it's divided with 4, and 4 is a good number for knitting. And what you need to do the hat is two circular needles like this, around 40 centimeters long. You need one uh, which, with size 4.5 and one 5. And then you also need double pointed needles, number 5. So cast on 96 stitches on the circular, 4.5. The reason why I use the circular is that it's much easier when you knit, knit your hat. It goes around and you don't have to have all these needles flying around. And then when you cast it on your 96 stitches, you start by doing the hem, which I knit with two knit and two purl all the way around. For a man's hat, you just need a little short hem, maybe 3 cm or 5 cm, it depends on what you like. If you do the same model for a woman, you may make a bigger hem, like, like this maybe, I don't know, 30, 40, 25 cm. So you can fold it one time to get it more feminine. But I'm making a hat for myself, so this will be with three centimeter hem. Now I have started to knit the hem with two knit and two purl all the way around and I will make more of the hat but not on film, you will see it later. So I will finish the hem and I will knit all the way up to where I knit with three colors. So I will show you how to do that. And you can also find the pattern for the hat on our website. So now I just have to finish the hem. See you. Now I'm all, almost finishing the pattern on the hat. And I will show you how to knit with three colors at the same time. Because in this pattern, sometimes you have three colors and sometimes you have two colors. So now on this, I need f uh, three of the gray. So I just pick up the gray from behind of the knitting and I knit them like this, the English way. And now I need the white one. And then three of the red. So I just pick it up when I need it. Sorry, that was a grey one. So, one, two, three. Next one is white. And I can also... I can twist the grey. So it doesn't give the long, long yarn on the inside. 
But when you do this uh, knitting with, with the three colors, you have to remember that you need to twist the yarns on the back every now and then. Try not to have more than like four stitches in between each color. Because if you have more, you should twist every now and then. So now I block the, the gray with the red, just to bring it, keep it going forward. Then the white one, and then three of the gray. And I'm still working on the circular needle, but after a while when you go up and you do the decreasing, the circular will be too big. And so then you just knit the hat into four needles. So I can show you now, if this was the end of the hat, I just would knit 24 stitches into one needle and then start decreasing. So then it's easy to keep order of the decreasing when you have them on four needles. Now I will show you how to finish the hat. And I knit one, I knit two together, then the two more together, and I knit the last one. So now I have four stitches on each needle. Normally I just knit, knit two together, but if you're picky, you can knit one. Then the first decreasing, you lift one, knit one, lift the one you lifted over the one you knitted, and then you knit the two next together and knit one. If you, if you do that, then you get uh, the decreased stitches to point towards the top of the hat. That's if you're picky. I'm not so picky. So normally I just knit the two together and two together and knit one. So always on the decreasing I start with the knit one, then two together, I knit the rest to the other end of the stitch, then I knit two together in the end and knit one. On every second round. So now, now I have four on each needle, so now I knit the four, or the 16 stitches, all around. Then I soon I have a new hat. One more. Then on the last decreasing, I knit one, knit two together, and knit one. Then I have three left on each needle, and that's the last last round. And when you've done that, you just pull the tail. And now I'm almost almost out of yarn, so I just do like this. A little bit more. Then I pull the yarn through the last stitches. Like this. The last 12 stitches. That's the first one. So after, after the last in decreasing, you just pull the trail, tail through the stitches, like this. And then you just pull the tail like this. So you block the hole in the top of the hat. Ta-da! 
so then you just sew the hole in the top of the hat so then I just sew the yarn through the last stitches one more time and then through the top of the hat that and then you make a knot and you weave the tails on the inside of the hat then you have to cut the yarn and you can steam the hat if you want to and then you have a new hat if you want you can put a pong pong or something on top but you don't need to i'm ready for winter <laughs>